What's going on YouTube? Embo's back with another video for you guys in two days. I'm going to be talking about the Season 3 Regulation Tournament that we just attended in Columbus, Ohio. And as you can tell by the title, we qualify, baby. So pretty much qualifying for this tournament, it, I mean, if we obviously if we play well, it'll get us into the Season 3 Playoff Tournament that'll probably be in Columbus again. So that's a guaranteed 750 for showing up and then uh, pretty much guaranteed 2K for the season. So we actually accomplished a lot by just qualifying. But of course we want to do well in the season. You know, we want to go to the tournament, hopefully win it. Uh, and we have Dallas coming up, but I'm gonna run you through the tournament how it went and uh, what things went down. On the first day we played G4G, we lost first map. We were looking at each other like, all right, what the fuck is going on? We clutched up in the search and then we beat them in the response from there, 3-1. Uh, and then we played ISO the next match. Uh, I went, I started off hot in G4G game. I played really well and then we went to the ISO match. I was a little shaky, you know, I didn't really do too well in the hard point, but we all, it's not like no one carried. Well, uh, we just didn't really play well that map. Uh, by left hard point, they got the first one, then they won the search. Uh, they beat us 3-0. Uh, but it was like, like I said, it was a good series. We just weren't on. I didn't, like I said, I wasn't really playing too hot. That was probably the only series all weekend where I was just like off. And then we played, uh, who did we play after that? We played DT. We played Amazing versus them. Uh, we lost the search, but then we beat them 3 1. And then it was time to play SB, which was like one of those matches where you got to go hard. They're a great team. Study TCM, Spacely, and Anticity. That was a team that could probably give us the run for our money. Like I said, if we lost that match, we were out of the tournament. That was it. And we weren't making season three. So, like I said, it was a, it was a good match. We were beating them in the hard point, like 150 to 60. We were just pounding on them. Like, we were talking in the mid map, like, good shit, guys. We're playing amazing. That's how we're supposed to play this, this, just calling out normal. Next thing you know, we, we were going too fast. They flipped the game around. They won the damn hard point. We're like, what the fuck, guys? What's going on? Then we go to the search. They go up 2 0. We're like, fuck, man. This is our fucking league spot on the line. What are we doing? Everyone focus up. Go down 0 2. I clutch a 1v2. 1 2. A Ricky Amir clutch a 2v4. Next round after that, we trade around. It goes up. I think it goes to 5 4. We're up. We're up 5 4. Ricky's left in a 1v2. It was a 2v4. I get a kill. Ricky gets a kill. It's a 2v2. I, the guy just jumps up, challenging me three story. Like, what the? What is he doing? He kills me. Ricky is in a clutch situation with a sniper. They weaken him. 19 seconds left. He's clutch spot on Riot and clutches 1v2 for the one. We win the map. And then we pretty much. We didn't, I wouldn't say dominated him, but we played really well in Detroit. Hard point uh, uplink and we beat him. And then the hard point we won. We finished. You know, we, it's not like where we celebrated, we finished strong. Like, that's what we do during the end of the game. And a lot of teams do this. We, uh, if you hear it listening, they're like, finish strong, finish strong. That's what we do. Um, so, like I said, it was a great match versus SB. They gave us a run for our money. And the next day, it was time to play Sin. Uh, we would go up 2-0. We were, we were playing extremely well. I think on uh, the first night, we dropped 40 in the hard point. I was playing really well. Um, and then we go up 2-0. And we start beating them 14-2 in the uplink. And we're like... Did they quit? Like, what happened? And next thing you know, a ref comes in the booth and he's like, yeah, uh, our fault. We give him a wire that was messed up. Start from 7-2 halftime. We're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We need a, a further explanation. Like, we don't know what happened. You can't just come in the booth and say that. Uh, and then they started talking, whatever. So he comes back and says, actually, it was the player's fault. It's going to be 14-2 with a minute left. It's like, they can't even come back even if we didn't kill them. We could run around with knives and we would win just because it's impossible to come back. And then we're like, all right, give him an extra three minutes or something. Like, we were trying to bargain with him, but, of course, everyone was trying to, like, pin it on us. Like, we were already up 2-0 in the series. No offense. Like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything, but we were probably going to win that map. Like, we were on fire. We, we had him spawn trapped and everything. And then it goes into the next side, and I couldn't spawn it for, like, a minute. You can go look at the VOD. I had, like, a spectator glitch where I can scan the map. I literally thought I was in spectator mode, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I can't spawn it, and I was getting scared. Ricky's like... Three minutes left, boys. We can do it 3v4. Don't worry about it. Yeah, like I said, guys, the team played really well. We lost the ISO twice. Uh, the second series was super close. We all played good. It wasn't like someone like went 18 and 30 and cost us the map. Like It wasn't like that. Literally, when we lost the map, we all had a good amount of kills. And we're like, we're just making a mistake. We're just making mistakes. You know what I mean? Like I said, I love the team. Uh, I love playing with these group of guys. It's not like we bitch at each other mid map we don't argue we don't do none of that uh we accept our losses we try to bounce back from it like i said ricky is a great in-game leader he kept us he, he was talking great to us in sin match we qualified we played well moch went completely off um but obviously i would I, if i said i i mean like i said i i didn't really have that too much of a great kd but it was like the only reason why i had that is because like for instance i think i went like 20 and like 27 in the uplink and we still won like I still got a good amount of kills I was doing my job. I just filled in the gaps I mean, I could have slayed more clearly but like KD doesn't always tell the the whole story And that's why people are like Bose you step down this this and that like that I played well a chance to have like a point nine eight KD I mean, that's not like amazing, but that's doing better than your average when you use a sub and 
people love me. I don't get it. Like, people are just going to blame me either way. I know the comments are going to be like, Bo, step down. Hector loves you. He's not going to drop you. Hector already dropped me once. If the team felt like I was costing them, they could tell Hector. I mean, that's what the Last Nation team did. Like, you know what I mean? But it's all good. Like I said, thank you guys for all the support. Um, Seriously, like, reading my timeline during before in the game. And you guys are like, 40 bombos, let's go. You're going to win this, whatever. It motivates all of us. Seriously, it means a lot. Thank you guys for watching my video videos. Um, and that's really all I can say besides we're going to go hard. We're going to get these maps down. We'll go hard in the league. We're going to be at that playoff championship. And we're going to do good at Dallas. We're going to do amazing. The teams, I, like I said, guys, I love playing with these guys. This is the team. I love them. And, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Thank you guys again for all the support. Uh, I'll be streaming, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, guys.